Hey guys, welcome to Robux Collections. Today, we are going to be looking at a cheap way to make Gar Saxon from the Clone Wars. Yes, this figure is a very expensive figure that people have been making cousins of for upwards of $40. And that's crazy, because you could buy a whole Lego set with that, that's actually big size. Or you could buy three or two battle packs or something like that, that's crazy. So today, I'm going to be showing you the cheapest way to make a guard section that actually looks decent besides the arms <laughs> i really would like to change those arms but i don't really know what figure art to use for that so without further ado let's get into how you make this guard section but before we do get started i do ask that you do leave a like and subscribe for more content and you thought that was kind of cool just do it anyways it's free doesn't hurt okay so let's get into how to make gar Saxon. okay guys so up first we have a kind of a harder figure to get but this hair piece is the only thing that we need and it comes in quite a few sets this one is specifically from the b-wing from 2014 the next figure we have up here is the beam which came in over three sets um but there is more with like well three sets with this hair color and the helmet but then there's two other sets, an Avon Counter and the A-Wing versus Darth Vader's TIE Fighter that came with her with her season two hair, which I sadly do not have, but I would like to have one day. And um, you don't even need to get the figure that has the helmet in the $129 um, Imperial Assault Carrier because that is the only set that has her helmet, but you do not need that. Um, and then last up here we have Tobias Beckett, which you do need his face for. He comes in two, this face comes in two sets. And we don't need this hair because it's kind of freaked me quite stupid, in my opinion. It doesn't look like his hair of the whatever actor. I think his name's Tom Hasselhoff. I don't know. But I don't remember the actor's name. But still, yeah. Okay, so let's get into what we're going to trash and keep. So first up, we're going to keep the hair. And goodbye to everything else. This one, we're going to take the head off. Okay, it's getting gory, guys. This is not for kids anymore. Okay, and then we're going to take off. This guy's hair, goodbye, 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 go. <laughs> Crubble's hair. And then we gotta take his head and take his jacket away. And then there, we have our guard section. Now, right now, I'm gonna take you a little bleep second to try to find some arms for you guys. Cause I think that would look really damn cool. Okay guys, we're back again with Iron Man Mark 50 armor. One of the many armors I own, but I really hate doing this. Because I love Iron Man. So we're going to take his arms off. Because that would be um, yeah, good for Gar Saxon. Ugh. Okay, well I'm going to pause this again. Show you in a second what it looks like. Because I hate getting arms up. It's terrible. And putting them on is even worse. Wow, this actually looks phenomenal. It has the red arms now. And that makes it look a lot better. Just like, forget about the rubble symbol. But I also put a jetpack in the back. Just for fun, whatever. And then I gave him a custom gun as well, which is like a dollar. That's how I paid for it. So overall, it's pretty nice. Um, this is a nice figure to go with the Bo-Katan I've made. The mall I've made. And the Silica Tunnel figure I made. So that is all going to be all for now, guys. Make sure to, again, leave a like and subscribe. Now see you all again. Real soon. So peace.